Here is my list for the top three most important flies for fishing trout. When you go fishing, you want to make sure you're taking the right gear. Having the right fly, or not having the right fly, could make or break your trip. The big one could be one cast away, but if you're fishing the wrong pattern, then he might not bite. So my list focuses on the most versatile flies. Basically, if you had just these three fly patterns in your box, then you are prepared for almost all situations. So. Let's get started. My dry fly pick is the Adams, which is number three on my most important trout flies list. The Adams has to be one of the most popular dry fly patterns ever created. It was first created by Leonard Holliday in 1922 as a mayfly imitation. However, it was quickly realized it could be used for multiple bug imitations. It can be tied in many different colors and variations. One of these variations is the parachute atoms, which uses a parachute post. This can be easier to see when fishing smaller flies. So if you could only carry one dry fly, I feel the atoms should definitely be it. My nymph fly pick is the zebra midge which is second on my most important trout flies list. The zebra midge is a midge imitation. Midges are some of the most common food sources for trout. They are in almost all rivers, and being a nymph-type fly, it is subsurface, and therefore the trout are more often willing to take a nymph in front of their face than rise to a dry fly. It can be tied in multiple sizes and colors, so you can tailor it to your specific needs. There are also many variations of the zebra midge, like this crystal flash emerger, and this red foam emerger. So there is always a version that can work for any situation. If you could have only one subsurface nymph fly, I would say zebra midge would be my first pick for your box. My streamer fly pick is the woolly bugger, which is number one on my most important trout flies list. The woolly bugger is a streamer and therefore can be fished a number of ways. From dead drifting, like you would a nymph, to swinging, to stripping. The woolly bugger can basically do it all. In a pinch, a non-weighted woolly bugger can even double as a large dry fly. I feel that the woolly bugger is basically the most versatile trout fly ever created. And it isn't limited to just trout. It has single-handedly caught just about every sport fish on the planet. And just like any other popular fly pattern, there are many variations of the woolly bugger. And it also can be tied in multiple color combinations, like this olive color one. A few colors that make a regular home in my fly box are black, brown, olive, white, white and grizzly, and chartreuse. So the woolly bugger is probably the most versatile fly pattern ever created, period. This is because of its ability to be fished in many different ways, and for most any species of fish. Thank you for watching. If my list is wrong, please feel free to tell me in the comment section. Also, please tell me what species you would like me to do my top three picks for next. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe and share with your friends. For more info, check the description section. Now, go catch some fish.